Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create favorite search filters in Jira and then what all operations are available to the search filters once you save the filters in Jira. So in previous sessions, we have already gone through creating some of the basic search queries and then saved those as filters. So it, this session, it will be kind of a uh, refresher for the previous, some of the previous um, topics that we have covered as well as a few more things around filters. So to get started to search for issues or to create the filters, you need to go to the issues tab at the top and click on search for issues. So it will, from this search page, you will be able to search all the issue types um, for all the project or any uh, status, etc. Uh, if you just want to create, if you do, just want to search the test cases, you just need to go to the tests tab and click on the search tests, which will list only the test cases uh, by default. So we'll go back to the issues, search for issues, which will list all the issues in the project. And in order to search, you just need to provide the criteria in the drop down so this is the basic search uh, wherein you will get all the drop downs so for example project type etc you just need to select the criteria that you want to search for so i'll say all open issue types in all the projects uh, it doesn't matter whom they are assigned to and if i want to select more criteria then just click on the more drop down here uh, and select the criteria that you want to choose so I'll say select created date and then select creator as well. So it's up to you what criteria you want to add as part of the basic search in order to search for the issues. So creator, I'll say current user. It will list all the issues that are created by the current user. So this is, this is a basic query depending on what requirements you have to filter the issues or create the query for. And then you can save this query with certain names. So I'll say all open issues created by me. All right, and just save the filter. And now you can see that favorite, uh, that saved filter has been listed in the favorite filters field. Once the filter is saved, there are options to, you know, like you can do, you can rename it, you can copy it, or you can remove it from favorites or delete. So there, these are some of the operations available once you save the filter. The other option in Jira search is the advanced search. So advanced search is search using the Jira query language or JQL. So you can provide the Jira query language or you can write your own query in form of Jira query language uh, to do the complex search within Jira, which we'll take up in further sessions uh, in, in detail. So once you have created the filter, saved the filters, you can see all those filters under the issues tab. If you click on that, you see the filters option here and you'll see all the filters that we have created listed under 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 the filters uh, section now to manage the filter just click on this manage filters uh, link and will open manage filters page so you'll see favorite filters there you'll see what your filters are um, what are the popular filters and you can search for the filter so like for example i want to search for uh, msp uh, filter uh, containing criteria uh, containing text as MSP just click on just type MSP in search and then click on search and it will open all the filters containing MSP in the name um, other options available so you, for example you want to edit a particular filter so go to all so for example all open test cases and bugs for Moomba project at the moment you can see I am the owner who um, and it is currently shared with the logged in users so to edit the filter just click on this cog wheel and click on edit 
and you can edit the name you can edit the sharing option so you want to don't want to share this filter just delete that and save the filter okay the other option is to subscribe so if you click on subscribe you can personally subscribe the particular filter and it will send you the daily status based on the schedule so for example if you want to send the the details of the issue for this particular filter so for example you want a daily notification then select it select schedule as daily or you want uh, to select the particular days for which you want to be notified uh, and then click on subscribe so once you subscribe you will get a notification of all the open test cases and bugs for Mumba project on every day on that particular time that you have subscribed for there are the other option in subscription is you can do a subscription for other groups or other roles so for example Jira BA or Jira software user you can provide the whole group and the whole group will be notified for that particular filter uh, or the list of issues within that filter at, at that particular time of the day so that is pretty much all about uh, the creation of the search filter saving it and all the operations that are available uh, for the particular filters thank you